I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. Smashing day for it. On holiday? No. Oh, Leslie. Uh, it isn't true. Oh, oh big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? Chapter 1. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Narricot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. This house looks as sturdy as a fortress. I have nothing more to say to him. This house looks as sturdy as a fortress. I should return to my boat to retrieve some supplies before I begin any real investigating. Gave me quite a turn. Taking a stroll, Mr. Marston. Uh, just a short constitutional before dressing for dinner. That storm's closing in. This drizzle's about to turn ugly. Yes, looks beast. What's that you're carrying? This? Just some paper and string I found on the beach. Roger seems like a tartar for order and cleanliness. 
thought I'd help out. Terribly nice of you. Well, I'm heading to the house. If I were you, I'd do the same. Won't do to get caught out here when the brunt of this storm hits. I'll be along directly, Mr. Marston. Yes, yes, of course, old boy. Whatever you say. That was rather odd behavior. Mr. Naraka, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. Scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Thank you. Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. <laughs> 